right, folks. I still can't make up my mind with this laptop. So guess what I've done? Yeah, I've put a different version of Windows on this. I had, I've had 7 and 8 and 8.1 on here. I had 8.1 a while back. Now I have 7 again for a reason that's actually like valid this time instead of just me being indecisive and stupid. Uh, I actually recently started using this laptop more as a laptop than I usually do. And as in like taking it around and using it with a trackpad and everything. And I noticed one thing in Windows 8 and 8.1. The trackpad software is horrible on this laptop, the Asus K55N. It's terrible for, for one reason. It is a .NET framework program or a .NET program. And .NET programs in my experience are just terrible. This particular trackpad program, I'd set, I'd turn off the gestures, turn off the tap to click, turn off all that crap, and it would seemingly turn itself back on. It would just re reset to default settings by itself constantly until you went back and toggled one setting, clicked apply, then toggled the, the setting uh, back off again, clicking apply again, and then that would fix it for a while. Then maybe after an hour of using it or whatever, uh it would forget the settings again. So the program used to control the touchpad was just a piece of utter garbage on Windows 8 and 8.1. And that's the reason I have 7 back on here, believe it or not. It's not because of the tiles. It's not because of the lack of the start menu. It's because an Asus provided driver utility is just a piece of junk. So go figure that. That's the only thing negative I can say about this laptop so far is that the trackpad utility that you get in Windows 8 and 8.1 is just crap. I even tried using the Windows 7 uh, utility that does not use the .NET framework program and that didn't work in Windows 8 or 8.1 so well, I didn't actually try it in Windows 8, only 8.1 but I put Windows 7 back on here and instead of uh, the .NET framework program it uses, where is it? I installed an older version of the driver that's just the e it's just an Elan smart pad driver. So it uses this type of utility, just the typical Elan smart one that I'm used to on other laptops. You can turn all the gestures off and it actually remembers the settings, you know, the program actually works. <laughs> Unlike the .NET framework ones. So yeah, that's I've just ne I've never had to switch operating systems due to a problem like that before, and I thought I'd document it. So it's not like my use of this laptop is going to be much different. But I just have Windows 7 on it now, and I just like to make note that uh, the trackpad utilities that Asus gives you for Windows 8 and 8.1 for this laptop that they're written in .NET frame they're written in .NET, so they're just terabad, <laughs> absolutely terabad. So I downgraded to Windows 7 for that reason alone, so that I could actually just use the pointing device properly. <clears throat> and now it's a great laptop. It actually remembers the settings and everything works fine. No problems at all. So there you go. I just thought I'd document that because, you know, you'd think they couldn't screw something up like a trackpad utility, but they did. So for those of you who have have had that happen on this particular laptop you're not alone just downgrade to Windows 7 and use the older Elan and use the older utility don't use the Asus smart gesture utility that is what's completely broken use the Elan tech driver like an old-fashioned driver that's on Asus's website that one's much 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 better anyhow there you have it folks have a good one everybody ciao